All right, so let's get started on this trip to Japan. <clears throat> My name is Mackie Terrace, <clears throat> and I'm going to be going over the different places that we're going to visit <clears throat> when we go to Tokyo for our trip. I'm extremely excited to share this with you guys. I hope you enjoy kind of going through uh, what we'll be doing and all that good stuff. And yeah, I hope you enjoy my presentation. So to start, we're all going to gather here at Appalachian State. And we're going to mosey our way on over to the Charlotte Douglas International Airport to hop on this flight to Tokyo. It's probably going to be a long one. I would assume, you know, more than like, 15 hours, I'm not sure, but it's probably going to be a long flight, so I want to do what you can to, to get some rest, you know, whatever that entails. So after we take off from the airport, well, we go to Haneda <clears throat> Airport, which is Tokyo's international airport. <clears throat> Boom, we just landed. Solid flight. So from here... Uh, you know, regroup and all that good stuff. Make sure everybody's in check. Everybody got on the flight safely. Everybody got off the flight safely. And then we're going to go to our hotel. And then after our hotel, we're going straight into it. We're going to Shinzuku City. This place seems pretty cool. It encompasses the buzzing clubs and karaoke rooms. Neon lit East Shinzuki and upscale hotel bars and restaurants. So this is where we're going to be coming you know, a few times over the, the course here to kind of blow off some steam and have some fun. So I'm sure this will be exciting, and I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to, to coming here. On our agenda as well, we will definitely be visiting Yuno Park. As you can see, spacious public park in the Yuno District in Tokyo. And it was established in 1873. How about that? It's a pretty old old park. But it looks very uh, appealing from the pictures and stuff. All right. To finish out that night, we're going to the old blind cat. I believe this is in Shinzuku City as well. So the old blind cat, you know, better be ready for some some travel abroad students to come throw down that night. On our agenda as well, we will definitely be stopping by the Tezuki Jajeo Market. <laughs> it's a seafood market. Get some fish, you know, maybe cook up some, some flounders, something along those lines, you know, whatever the, the locals recommend. I say we should purchase and Maybe grill it up or something. I think that would be a fun experience for everybody. All right. Also on our agenda, we're going to a theater. We're going to the Kabuki Za Theater. You know, get some traditional Kabuki drama in. I think that will be a great learning experience for everybody. Can kind of see some Japanese uh, theater culture. I'm sure everybody will enjoy that and appreciate the, the culture behind... Um, what they have to offer i'd be interested to see what all that is about all right next rapungi oh yeah rapungi this is the place to be a lively entertainment district where locals and tourists mix buzzing late night bars and clubs by day the vast rapungi hills skyscrapers at night is a party town this is going to be up there with shanzuku we're going to have fun here on some nights as well. Uh, just, again, blow off some steam. Let everybody enjoy themselves, you know, all that good stuff. So definitely visit here a few times and explore. Go from place to place in Rapungi And, yeah, stay safe, of course, though. Stay safe. On our agenda as well, we're going to be visiting the Imperial Palace. Uh, is the main residence of the Emperor of Japan. How about that? That's pretty cool. So that would be pretty cool to go and see that. Everybody got to be on their best behavior for this one. You know, don't want to uh, offend or anything like that. The, the locals or the, the Emperor, who knows? Maybe we'll get to see him. 
Yasukani Shrine. That's on our agenda as well. Uh, it's located in Kaichoda. So that's that's pretty cool. Founded by the Emperor Mihi in 1869. So this thing's pretty old as well. I'd uh, be excited to see. We we got a few shrines on the uh, on the itinerary, so I'll definitely be looking forward to some of this. Next, we gotta visit the Rainbow Bridge. Um, huge bridge in Japan. Seems like it's very cool. Um, if there's a possibility to walk across, I think that would be really awesome. Yeah, I think we would all enjoy that. All right, Kanda. We're going to Kanda. Covers central district districts, known for their electronic stores. So that would be kind of cool with this class, you know, see all their new uh, technologies that they're developing, you know, all that good stuff that we've been learning in this class. We can kind of apply it and see how Japan and the Kanda district are applying it over there. So I think that that kind of goes hand in hand with this class. Also on our agenda, we're just going to, we're going to be exploring Tokyo, the whole metropolitan area in general. I think it's very important that um, the whole uh, class that travels abroad for this um, definitely should explore as much as possible of Tokyo while we are here. So that's definitely on the agenda. All right. <clears throat> Next, Kabu Kabuki Cho. Now, this is a famous <laughs> entertainment district known for adult oriented life nightlife. So, some, some small clubs is what it says, but you know, the Appalachian State students, we're here to, we're here to go. So, we'll turn those smart, small clubs into the biggest thing they've ever seen. So, <laughs> I'm just messing. But yeah, I think this would be a great great way to kind of experience some more nightlife for everybody in a different area besides Shinzuki or Roppongi. So I'm going to be visiting Kabukicho as well. I think it'll be a lot of fun. All right, next. This is the place I'm looking forward to the most just because of the name. Fukugawa Fododo, <laughs> a Buddhist temple in the special wards. I am excited for this one, mostly because of the name, but also it's a Buddhist temple. You know, I've kind of researched a, a little bit on Buddhism and Buddhists and stuff. And I think that that whole culture and religion and stuff is super awesome. And I'll be excited to kind of see what an actual temple really looks like. So that will be on the itinerary. Next, Yuino Tashugo Shrine, another shrine. Um, in the Taito Ward of Tokyo, established in 1627. This thing is old, and we are going to be going to visit this. Uh, another great shine to, to go and see a lot of history here, I would assume. And yeah, I think that it would just be awesome to, to go and see this and gain some knowledge from the locals and explore this little district that they have here. We can't forget about the high shrine. This thing looks super cool from the picture right there on the screen. Um, yeah, another shrine, another great way to kind of learn some uh, Tokyo culture, Japan culture in general. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Atago. Another great place to visit. We'll be excited to, to go and see this. It has a total population of 323 people. So maybe we'll have a chance to meet all of these guys and see, uh, see what's going on with this place. Sengaku Ji, another Buddhist temple belonging to the Soto school, Japanese Zen. I think this is awesome. I'd be, I'm super excited to go see these Buddhist temples and explore some of this again, just kind of getting some good information from the local, local uh, Japanese people and seeing what they have to say about the history behind it. 
And that's going to be most of our trip right there. We're going back to the, the international airport in Tokyo, hopping back on the flight. We're going back to Charlotte to um, go back home to App State. Hope you guys enjoyed my presentation. I hope that you are just as excited for this Tokyo trip as we are. Um, yeah, look forward to doing more on this.